You know, it really is magical when a cartoon actually takes off. It's common knowledge that some cartoons continue on with virtually no demand. Hell, some cartoons take off with no demand at all. That being said, sometimes cartoons, even with amazing reception and high quality, don't. Take, for example, Day of the Barbarian. It was a show that was even nominated for an Annie Award. In fact, let's take a look at that particular episode. Ned Frischman, Man of Tomorrow. The episode starts in one of the most futuristic years imaginable, 1994. And we see a tailor, Ned Frischman. I'll never achieve my ultimate goal in life. Employee of the Month! Wait, where do I know that voice from? Destroy us all to make it happen! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Never achieve my ultimate goal in life. Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Employee of the month! Oh yeah, they both have the same voice actor. And he definitely loves this role as much as he loves voicing Billy. But let's see the first joke that this episode throws at us. <laughs> yes, Ned's depressing little life seems pointless indeed until one fateful day when a fiery comet hits Ned's zipper. Seconds later, a secret experimental laser bombards the zipper with hyperviolet mercury rays. Then it is doused with mysterious chemicals, struck by the mystical powers of the Norse gods, bitten by a radioactive grasshopper, and taught the arcane ability to cloud men's minds by an inscrutable monk. Wow, that hardly ever happens. Yeah, a lot of the humor is like that, but this show is great at keeping its jokes varied. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are wondering why I tied a squirrel to a megaphone. Well... Goodbye! The zipper allows Ned to go back in time. He wants to go back in time to conquer the world with his modern technology. We cut to our heroes waiting patiently for their story to begin. I'm not even joking. Meanwhile, many centuries earlier... Our heroes are waiting patiently for their story to begin. The show was extraordinarily self-aware, and it was a master at that type of humor. I know I complain a lot about failed lampshade hanging. If you want to see it done right, watch a few episodes of Day of the Barbarian. So, Ned comes in and tries to make the people of Utrecht bow down, but he is not very good at it. Like, at all. Eh, okay, but observe these awesome artifacts of the future. Behold! With the touch of a button, I open garage doors without leaving my car. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm magic. What's a garage? What's a car? He eventually unveils a game guy, and it seems like our heroes are enthralled by this little trinket. So, Ned goes back into the future and buys hundreds of game guys, and gives them away to the people of Ujigroth for free. It doesn't take long for everyone to get addicted. Except for Candy's pony. Can I try? No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. I beg you. No! Shall I tell you of last night's dream? Dark forms came to me, whispering of unspeakable atrocities. Stop with the dreams! You can try it! A tragic irony. No thumbs. Eventually, however, the batteries die out, and Ned will only give them batteries for a price. And he turns everyone into slaves. Dave is instructed to create a sandwich in Ned's name, where his sword tries to talk him out of his addiction. Oh, this will get me extra batteries. Can't you see what's happening? That little worm has you all enslaved by a stupid game. Kinda reminds me of Microsoft. Unfortunately, the sword can't play the game because she doesn't have thumbs. And neither can Faffy the dragon because he doesn't have thumbs either. Yet he can wield the sword. They try to attack Ned, but instead get captured. Yeah, that, that wasn't the smartest plan. Dave comes by with sandwich choices, and Ned is about to lock those three in his pyramid forever. In order to get out of this, the sword offers to tell Dave how to get to level 7. So, Dave beats up Ned, destroys the pyramid, and saves his friends. So, Ned summons a T-Rex, which goes about destroying all of Ned's statues before turning on Ned himself. Ned Frischman may perish, but at least he has the satisfaction of knowing that his nemesis will go with him. Actually, no. Dave makes a sandwich out of Ned and flings him into the future. Where my evil is raw, now the fool seeks to return to the past. Dave tells everyone that there will be no more batteries and gets attacked for it. And Ned vows his revenge. The episode ends with the T-Rex being declared Employee of the Month. And that was Ned Frischman, an episode from Dave the Barbarian. One of the funnier cartoons that never really took off. I hear that it's in some sort of weird limbo where it's technically not cancelled, but let's be serious here. They do need to bring this thing back, regardless of technicalities. I mean, I didn't even show you half of the jokes in this episode, and each one of them hit home. I don't normally do this, but pretty much every episode can be found on YouTube. And that's pretty much the only way you can watch it if you don't want to stay up to 3 in the morning watching Toon Disney. But if they ever do bring it back, or sell it through legitimate means, yeah, buy it through that way.
It was an awesome show, and it makes me grateful that Disney is giving shows like Gravity Falls the love that they deserve, because it doesn't always turn out that way.